Hey, Paul. Remember when we talked about Friday the 13th Part 1? Yes, I do. flashback to that. Make me cry. You're putting a lot more effort into this song than it's worth. Remember the time? Oh, fuck. This, this movie, movie opens on six minutes of flashback to the first movie. Like we didn't watch it already. This fucking movie. Oof. Like, it's going downhill so fast. Like, I expected it to be good for, like, the first three movies, and then after the trilogy gets done, it would have been fine. And, you know, you can get, you can deal with that. But it just, it it went so far downhill since the first movie. Honestly, I feel like I knew in advance that probably the first couple films would be a low point. Because they're still trying to be the first movie. Hmm. Whereas once they hit like 7 and 8, they'll stop giving a fuck. Yeah, that's when it's going to get fun. Right now it's like bad and not funny. This, the, like, boring is the worst thing a movie could be. Yeah. And they, they kind of bunch, like, their their pacing in this movie is just, it's awful. Pa- pacing is, pacing kills horror films faster than anything else. Yeah, yeah. And this is not the worst I've seen. I have seen horror movies with worse pacing, but this is bad. All right, cut. <laughs> Perfect. Nah, um... I what mean, else happened? Oh, what? yeah. The the pacing kind of carries through to the, um... To the ending of the movie, where... We have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> okay. So there's a character named Paul? Hi. Uh, who I choose to believe is also the boyfriend Paul from Halloween, who we never saw. Um... Again, hi. <laughs> I don't know if he died at the end of this or not. Because, like how the first movie ended with her getting grabbed by Jason, and then she woke up in the hospital. This movie ends with a girl getting grabbed by Jason, and waking up in the, waking up being put into an ambulance. But her boyfriend was in the room when Jason got her? So we so have no idea what the hell happened. Did Jason get him? I mean, I think it was a a dream, <laughs> but they don't set it up that well. Like, in the last movie, when she was in the canoe, it made sense that it was a dream because, you know, she had... It, they'd gone through the entire night, it was now morning, and she paddled out to the middle of the lake. It would make sense, then, for it to be a dream, and then for her to wake up in the hospital. Well, it, plus, the first one kind of has the suggestion, like... Maybe it really did happen. Yeah, yeah. This one, it's like... But I, that's the thing. I don't think it matters whether or not it happened in the first one. In this one, it matters immensely, and they don't tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was funny that they actually showed Jason's face in this movie. I thought that, you know, they had this shot where it's like they take off his mask, and they're all like, Oh, what a monster! And then, you know, you get you get back to the ending, and then he jumps through a window, and... They, they already showed his face in the first one. Yeah, but he was a kid. It was, it was slightly different. It, also, gosh, what an inaccurate Jason mask. Come on. Everyone knows he wears a pillowcase with one eye cut out. Well, I mean, that's the Golden Freddy that you unlock at, after you beat the fifth night at Five Nights at Freddy's. Jason's. Five Nights at Jason's. Fucking just cut that joke. That was a stupid joke. <laughs> um, it's actually kind of hard to find, like, a good-looking, authentic Jason mask. Is it really? Because I'm, like, 90% sure this is a custom. <laughs> it's five bucks, though. But it's, Not bad. Like, all the official Jason masks are made of, like, soft foam. Really? It's like... But why, though? <laughs> but why? Make it out of... Hard plastic. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's cheap. It doesn't matter. (laughs) 
But then there's like the store brand Goalie Mask. Scary Goalie Mask. Ooh. Spooky. But, but yeah, they showed his face in this movie. They did. And I thought that they were gonna, you know, pat, you know, bring, bring that out of, of you know, uh, what, what am I looking for? They were gonna make a bigger thing out of it? Yeah, they were gonna string it out longer than, than that. They were gonna make a huge reveal <laughs> out of it. But no, he just looks like the, the guy from Phantom of the Opera without his mask. Who knew? They never explained how his face got fucked up, by the way. Well, he drowned. As we all know. He's a zombie! Come on, Paul! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how I have been so wrong in my life up until this point. I guess we'll just have to watch part three to find out what happened. Please, God, no. Part three... In 3D! Is it really? Yes. For fuck's sake!